Finding out the quality of the food that you are consuming is very important. Foods may be contaminated or adulterated with a foreign substance. These substances can make you sick and unhealthy. Difference between contamination and adulteration. Contamination and adulteration involve some foreign substance in the food. However, there is a difference between the two. Contamination means that the addition of a foreign substance was unintentional. While in adulteration you intentionally add the substance. Adulteration generally involves removing the superior quality ingredient with the inferior quality ingredient. It is in a sense dilution of the food. Adulteration can lead to some serious health hazards. So it becomes important to understand the quality of the food. You can use your senses to detect if something is wrong with your food. For example, if you see a fuzzy fruit, then it is a sign of spoilage. Similarly, a canned product can be called spoiled if the can is not in proper shape. Likewise, you can use your sensory organs to detect many adulterants in the food. For example, you can easily examine the addition of papaya seeds in black pepper seeds. However, it is not always possible to identify them so easily. Sometimes the food may look of superior quality but very harmful substance may be used for adulteration. To make this distinction you need some form of analysis. Some basic analysis can easily be done at home or in the school lab. For example, you can easily identify the addition of water in milk, the addition of colors in sugar, addition in beverages, etc. These basic tests are used to identify the presence or absence of the adulterant. Need of intermediate tests. However, you may be required to step further and use the intermediate test to better check the quality of food. These intermediate tests would require more advanced instruments and skills. The basic tests could only tell about the presence and absence, however, intermediate tests can tell you the amount of adulterants in the food. You might have heard about the Mobile Food Testing Laboratory. It is an example of an intermediate testing service. They have basic types of equipment to find out adulteration in milk and other dairy products. They can perform about 23 tests for you. Need of advanced tests. At times your food may be adulterated in very low quantity. But even this low quantity can be hazardous for your health. If you want very specific information about the adulterants in your food, you can opt for advanced tests. Advanced tests are conducted by highly specialized technicians in a state-of-the-art lab. For example, if you want to find out the botanical and geographical information of your honey, you can go to these labs. These labs use sophisticated tools that can detect even small levels of adulterants in your food. If your food passes tests in these labs, then you can be absolutely sure that your food is of very high quality. If you are only concerned about the basic level, then you can use the Food Safety Magic Box. It is a food testing kit for home a home that can give you somewhat fair information about the quality of the food you are consuming. Food Contamination and Adulteration, Back to Basics. The contamination of products you can eat may be either intentional or accidental. This problem is part of the whole food supply chain and may be affected by a lot of factors. It's important to keep in mind that the standards of quality may offer a safety net for these type of issues in the manufacturing processes. Let's find out more. Difference between contamination and adulteration. Both adulteration and contamination indicates that the product has an unintended substance in it. The difference between the two types is that contamination is usually unintentional. For instance, food may get contaminated due to natural causes, such as heavy metals in the soil or the inclusion of pesticides in the soil. Often, these types of scenarios are not avoidable. Also, contamination can occur because of a bad quality control system or a shortcoming. Mostly, contamination is predictable because we can detect the presence of a high amount of pesticide in soil. Therefore, we can take the right steps in order to prevent the problem from getting worse. On the other hand, adulteration refers to the activity of mixing wrong ingredients in a product. For instance, if you mix water in milk in order to increase the amount of milk, you are involved in a type of adulteration. Typically, the material used to do adulteration is cheaper than the actual ingredients. However, it's important to keep in mind that not all types of adulteration may result in serious side effects. 
For instance, mixing clean water in milk won't make you fall sick if you drink the solution. It will just reduce the benefits you will get from drinking the milk. However, if a company or manufacturer engages in this type of adulteration, it will have a negative impact on their image. Plus, it's unethical. Going against ethics is not a good idea either. Adulteration of other types will always cause unknown hazards. For instance, many products are made with hundreds of ingredients and chemicals. Commoners can't check what the product was made of. In other words, they can't identify the ingredients used in the product without using special equipment. In this case, the safety of food, the image of the brand and the safety of consumer is at the mercy of the dishonest adulterator. In many cases, adulteration can take the lives of consumers. Therefore, steps should be taken in order to prevent this type of activities in the production units. At times, adulterators mix harmless ingredients in the food products. Although they can be devastating, it is not good to expect the presence of these ingredients in the products. These ingredients are not detectable by the detection system either. Therefore, the routine testing system is unable to detect the adulteration. In short, if you want to make sure that the food you eat is free of any contamination and adulteration, we suggest that you invest in a good food adulteration testing kit. For this purpose, you should contact a good food adulteration kit supplier.